anybody else's. It really does have to do, sorry, my window is open, it's so hot, so if you're going to hear stuff in the background, but um, yeah, like my journey here really does have to do with me getting this deep feeling inside of me that I'm supposed to move my children to Senegal, I'm supposed to come here and do this whole thing, and it was actually a, a eight-year journey. I gave myself 10 years, but I got here in eight, so without telling that whole story, uh, this is just really, this like, this move to me, like living here, it's like, words cannot describe what this means to me. So because of that, I really wanted this, I really wanted my life here to be very, um, how do I say, I wanted to share my experience while, while not sharing my experience, okay? I wanted to make sure that I did not exploit Africa. I wanted to make sure that I was giving that I could give you guys a real review, like real experience, my real feelings of what's really going on. I see that, I see a lot that people move to a new country and within the first few weeks, within the first few months, even within the first year, they're giving out all their opinions about what they feel and what's going on. And I personally feel that you really don't know a country until you really like live in the country. You know, like if, if you're watching videos and people are giving their harsh opinions with how they like, the, okay, yes, you can give an honest opinion about your experience in a country, but the specifics are really that that's your experience based off those few months that you've been there. You know, I feel like after you really just lived here and you got like a couple years in, then you can really speak on what that place is really like. So for me, it was such a personal thing, and I really did not want to exploit Africa. I really didn't want to misguide anyone on how I felt about living here. So these videos are, oh my God, like it's really, really like a full circle moment that I am coming up on three years of being here. That's crazy. And, um, okay, oh wait. I'm thinking, I feel like I'm about to cry. <laughs> but I'm coming up on these three years of being here and I'm, I'm like my, my, my expression of being here and everything that I'm going to be sharing with you guys about my experiences, my story times after this video, it's going to be so raw and it's going to be real because I'm, I'm here, you know, like this is my home, you know? So yeah, I just, I just love that. I love that for me and I love that for y'all because I'm really giving y'all some real ass shit. Okay. So dating. Dating here in Senegal, dating in Africa. I mean, of course, I can't really speak on dating in Africa because it's a whole continent. So I can only speak on dating in Senegal. Where do I begin? Woo, okay, so dating in Senegal has been very interesting. <laughs> First of all, let's start with how fine. Why are Senegalese men so fine? Like, I don't really understand this. Like, I'm not, I'm not playing, y'all. Like, first of all, I've never been, like, that thirsty chick, right? So I've never really been, like, of course, if I see a good-looking dude, I'll be like, damn, like, you know. But I just feel like, okay, we know, we know our men in America are fine as hell, too. We know y'all fine, okay? Like, I ain't taking nothing from y'all. But I have lived from L.A., Oklahoma, Atlanta, I feel like I live somewhere else, New York, <laughs> I've lived all around that country, and I swear to you, I'm very, I'm very, like, attentive, y'all, and I know that I have never in my life seen this many fine men, like, in one, in one vicinity, in one country, okay, <laughs> in one city. I know I haven't, and this is a conversation that I've had with other American women, and I'm telling you, it's a difference, because, th this is how I know it's a difference, because... You could just be like, dang, 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 dang. Like this all day, all day. Damn, he fine. Damn, you look good. Like, why are you, like, all day. And, and I, I've never been that chick. Like, I've never been that chick. So I just know that it's because I'm seeing it more. Niggas is fine, y'all. Like, what the? When I tell you this man is so fine, when I tell you this man is scrump dilly -ishes. He made me want to, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I don't even know how else to put this. I have never, like, it'll, like, if, if you're not that chick,
chick that be like complimenting dudes and always being like, damn, damn. Like if you don't find yourself doing that often, you would move here and you would be like, why am I doing this so much? It's literally because you've never seen this many fine brothers in the same, like this many, like, like this many times in one day. Like it's multiple times in a day. It's like, why? What are y'all and why are y'all? Why? 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 Like, <laughs> these are the questions I be having. I really don't understand. I'm like, you guys look too good. Like, okay. Okay, that's it for that, right? I'm going to have to cut some of this because y'all going to be like, she is on it. Oh, that looks so good. It looks so good. Okay. So that's the thing, right? It's very tempting. And they're, they are really sweet. They're really charming. Um. Um, I don't feel like, I don't feel like, okay, wait, oh, let me say this too. This is my personal opinion, okay? Y'all cannot change my opinion. You cannot try to make me feel and have a different kind of experience. My experience here is my experience. So if you came here and this is how you got your husband and he was faithful and all you did was date one man and y'all been together forever. If you came here and it was the worst experience ever and I don't even know, it has nothing to do with me. Let me say that, okay? Now, with that being said, um, I believe that these men, it's not that they are more, uh, that they're more nice or anything to me. I, I think that they're the same. I, I, I find sweet brothers in America, too, that are really attentive, really, you know, giving and, or whatever you want to call it, really catering. Um, I just think that they're a little bit more gentle, some of them. I think that you can find men that are more gentle here. And I think that this kind of is a no-brainer because the culture in most of Africa is a more a more gentle culture, you know, more laid back, I mean, you know, like moving a little bit more slower, a little bit more lax, you know, less stress. So I feel like you definitely get that from the men more than you would get um, if you're, you know, in the States or if you're from the States. Another thing is, again, my experience. Um, it kind of seems like they don't, like for us in America, Western culture, we're like, if you want to date a woman, you got to take her out, right? You got to spend a little bit of money and you got to take her out. Here, it's like a lot of them do get that concept, but then some of them really don't. So it's not always that they want to take you out. And I feel like from my experience dating period, I don't, I don't want somebody that wants me to come to their house the first time. So some people will argue and they'll say, oh, well, that's how they do it here. And da, 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 da. Yeah, but I feel like at the same time, like we all watch movies. I feel like it's not like an African thing where it's like, oh, I can't take you out. Couples go out all the time. You see people going out. There's restaurants here. So I don't feel like it's like a cultural thing. I feel like when the men are not taking you out here, it's because they don't have the money or they own the same shit that a lot of men be everywhere in America too. People really have this thing about African men that's like, oh, they're innocent and oh, they're not the same way. They wouldn't play you. And that's really some bullshit. Dudes want to invite you to their house to too. Like that's happening. Like dudes want to use you for money too. Like that's happening, you know? So I do feel like we have like this thing about Africa where that's not really a thing because they're African and they're kings and da 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 and that's bullshit, y'all. Men are men everywhere. Just like women are women everywhere. Just like there's women that will play you for your money and that will be on some toxic stuff, be lying, making up stories in the States. They do the same thing here. They do the same thing in Mexico. They do the same thing in Argentina, you know, wherever, like all over the world. So that's kind of a thing. I feel like a lot of the men, though, they, I don't even know how to put this, but I'm going to say there's some men that don't have the funds, just like there's some men that don't have the funds in America, right? But the men that don't have the funds in America, they're not going to tell you, let's go out. They, they're normally not going to say, let's go out. They are, they're normally not going to invite you out, right? The men here, some of them will not have the money and will still be like, let's go out. Yes, I have been on two dates that I ended up having to pay for. Now, you guys have 
haven't seen my dates. So again, we know that there's men here that know they're supposed to take you out on a date. And but there's also some men that don't. I don't know what the hell that's about. <laughs> but there are some men that aren't, that, that just be like, whatever. And I do feel like those men that do that, it does have to do with like some, like she's American, she got the money, you know, and we ain't, we ain't playing none of them games. We not doing that. So yeah, that was really interesting. I'll have to do a story time on one of those dates where I ended up having to pay for everything. So another thing about dating here in Senegal is that these men will fall in love with you in a few minutes. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how, but they will, they believe in love at first sight for sure. So I cannot even count on both of my hands how many men have fallen in love with me and have um, wanted to move in and be a stepdad. I'm just going to say it. I have had multiple men that were very serious uh, about fathering my children. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm honored, okay? I'm not complaining. But, um, yeah, I've had men that I've met in his right off the bat. Like, I had one guy that I met in this place called My Mel. Shout out to My Mel. It shut down, but that was, like, such a spot in the car. It's like this little beach area that people come and eat and just chill. And this guy worked there, had a really good time just dancing all night and chilling. And uh, this brother, the next day, was like, okay, so I'm trying to get this house. And I, um, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, I'm recording. Get out, please.
teacher, and it makes sense because, you know, you know this stuff and I don't, so let's do it, you know, but don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> Please, think about how much that doesn't make sense, and then also think about if you want this person calling you. You don't know this person, so you don't know how, how, how pushy this person might be. And the culture is very, it's very normal. I think for most of Africa and a lot of places, it's very normal for them to say, I love you on the first day and to be asking for your hand in marriage. In Senegal, in, in Senegal they're really big on, on, on being married, you know? So they don't play no games. They be like, okay. <laughs> so that is me talking about how we can be naive. I talked about um, how they can be very pushy. You got to be careful with not giving their giving you their um, your number to them. Um, from there, oh, okay. Let me say this, sis. Don't come out here and meet a guy and just let him sweep you off your feet and y'all just be together and you don't really know his family and you don't know him. Do whatever you want because you're grown, right? But let's be realistic. It's about one or less than 1% of women that go to a foreign country, meet a guy that they don't know, marry them, and it actually is successful. They actually end up together for a really long time, and it was a great relationship, and they had children. Like, come on, like, that's not really happening as often as people are trying at this. And I love y'all, but it's a little delusional. It doesn't matter. Like, it's, it's even more delusional when you do it from a, a foreign country because understand the culture you don't know what the hell is going on especially if they don't speak the language you really don't know what's going on but it's delusional for us to do it in the places that we're from too like okay love conquers all but love does not keep a relationship together if you have experience in a long-term relationship if you've been married for many years you know that love is not all that you need to keep a relationship together so since love does not since love is not the glue <laughs> that will keep a relationship solid and healthy, you can't go off of love to be with someone. You have to get to know them. You have to figure out if this is the person that you want to have the disagreements and the slight arguments that y'all might have. You, you, are, you I mean, you're definitely going to have disagreements, right? Um, you want to choose the person that you just want to be around, just y'all being, or just even if y'all don't have no money and y'all not doing nothing. The person that you can really like spend your day with or your days with and they won't stress you out. If you with somebody and you guys are dating for two weeks for, the, for even a few months, especially if you're not seeing each other every day, then you're not really knowing this person. So my advice is to not come here to Senegal specifically because I can only speak on Senegal, but I see it all over this continent. Don't come here and... And, and just be like, oh, I'm going to fall in love and I want to, like, I don't think that we're meant to move like that with anything. I believe that if, if what you want is love, you have to, you have to flow and you have to be that love that you want. You have to feel that love on the inside and you have to not be anxious and like looking and, you know, oh my God, who is he? Is this the guy? Like, that's what I believe. And I actually have some, some video on that. If you guys haven't seen that, you can check out. Uh, my Earth is School videos. So, just please, sisters, like, we be coming here. Okay, it's getting, it's getting hot. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I had to open up the doors because we got hot. And the rain stopped. Um, it's drizzling a little, so if you hear it, don't be in my comments. Acting like you couldn't hear me because of the rain. <laughs> okay. Okay, so yes, yeah, so just please be careful. Please, please be more. Please be discerning. Um, just watch out. Like, what's the rush? You know, like really, really, what's the rush? Like, if you're, if, if you and this person are meant to, 
crush any of your connections. Okay, unless unless dude is about to turn himself in and y'all want to get married before he go into the, okay. That's the only scenario I can think of. Other than that, just coast. Just coast. Y'all are gonna be together if it's meant to be. So take your time, flow with this person, you know, enjoy this person, really get to know this person. That's my advice because believe it or not, you guys, and I'm here on the ground, like I'm seeing this in real life, okay, in real form. Believe it or not, there are more women that move to these foreign countries and fall in love with men really fast and they end up pregnant and alone. They end up going through it being abused. They end up um, with the family putting spells on them. Yes, 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 yes. They end up with the family putting spells on them to keep them there. This is a real thing. So y'all got to be more careful with the way y'all move. Like, don't, don't do, especially if you have children, please, if you have children, don't come to a foreign country. If you're moving from America, you're getting away from all of that. And then you come to a foreign country and you don't even give you and your children the decency to enjoy yourselves with just you and them, you know, on y'all, on y'all's new life. You already bring a man inside and then all of a sudden y'all got to go off of what he got going on and how he's saying and da 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 like don't do that to yourself really allow yourself like one thing that one thing that's happening when and i can only speak for people that's leaving from america but i would assume this is for anybody when you live in a place and you've lived there your whole life you have this construct right you have this this day-to-day -day thing that you do you have this neighborhood that you live in you have this persona you have the the way you dress the things you eat everything about you is based off of what you've set up for yourself in this particular country that you've been in, right? Or this particular place. If you've traveled, then it's a little bit different. But for the most part, for people that haven't left and haven't really left their hometowns, if they haven't really left the country that they're in as far as living outside, then you are uh, a product of, of that country, of that place. So when you move to a new place, when you go to a totally foreign place, you, all those things are broken down. All those barriers, what you thought you were, how you thought you moved, like you're like it's a whole new you that's being reconstructed. So my advice is give yourself the grace and the time to for for your new construct. You know, give yourself and, and your children time for y'all to build up who you're gonna be in this new life, in this new life, under this new African son. Don't come here and just rush into a relationship. You can go into a friendship and have a really solid companion that is not that where where is not uh, clouding y'all's y'all's judgment and y'all's love for each other. I mean, I can't tell y'all what to do, but I'm being honest with y'all. I see it all the time. It is the saddest thing. It is the most. It is just the craziest thing to me. And I'm not talking down on nobody. I'm not acting like I'm better than anybody. I have been married for almost 10 years. I have been in long relationships, seven years, five years. I've been in relationships my whole life, okay? <laughs> so I really, I really understand being with a man. I know what it's like to be loved. And, um, and I, I just don't have that thing where I feel like I need to rush into a relationship anymore. I used to do that. So I get that. That's why I'm speaking on that. But I really, even even though that that's how I was in my younger days, a foreign a foreign man, mm -mm. you you gotta you gotta keep that thinking cap on because this is so uh, like when when you meet new people, they're foreign to you anyway. Even if y'all grew up in the same neighborhood, you know. So going to a totally new place, and especially if you don't speak the language, I know I keep saying that, but y'all y'all be making me want to fight the air like. Take my advice.
me say too, I've had this conversation with since we getting around. Okay, and <laughs> and uh, we both had this conversation not too long ago. And she was like, "What is it?" She was like, "Why, why don't Senegalese men know what to do?" She's been married to Senegalese men, so she definitely knows. Um, I don't know. I, I can't. I can't say what it is from from the from the holding. Just just wanting to be held. Like I've had problems with them just holding me. And this is about to sound weird to y'all. I've had more men that I have just wanted to be like, can I just, I just want to be held than I have had sexual experience with them. And even being held is a problem. Like they do a lot of moving around. Like they don't really, they don't really know how to hold a woman. What? Bro, what are you talking about? Are you serious right now, bro? <laughs> I I can't. 
kid you not, it's a real thing here. Like even my semi weeks homegirls know that this is a thing, and and I even have a homegirl from the from uh, uh Cameroon, and we've had this conversation, and she's like, yes, she's like, girl, you got to be careful. They will try to put one in you. Like what? That's crazy. So they will try not to use protection, like all that. Um, and again, I'm not talking about every man. I'm sure there's men out here that, you know, there is men out here that, that want to use protection. But I've, I've also never been in a place with so many men that want to get you pregnant too, okay? And maybe that's because they're more family-oriented, whatever. You can, you know, paint the picture however you want to. But I'm just letting you know that if you're coming to Senegal and you're a single woman, you need to be careful because these men definitely want you to have your baby. Okay, <laughs> just like they want to marry you. <laughs> so that is it, you guys. That is my experience dating here, my sex life here in Senegal. I know this was like, whoa, like for me to open up my videos of living here with this subject, but I think it's a nice opener. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've had experience with Sending Weeks Men and what you think about it or if you know someone that has had the same experience that I have had and um yeah make sure you subscribe make sure you share this video if it's helpful I love you guys thank you for rolling with a sister I'll see you soon hey. I see you in the moonlight dancing yeah only need one chance girl right here one night stand please don't have fear